Are they dead or fake? Definitely gonna be something dark in this room. There's something deeper going on here. What would you do if you woke up one morning and your entire family was dead? Well, you're gonna find out because that's what happens in this game. <laughs> This game is called Tear Factory, and the description for the game on Steam is a game about hunting rats, feeding them to your family, and going to bed. But there is a much deeper layer to this game. This game seems very weird on the surface, but there is so much more going on behind the scenes. Thankfully, me and chat were able to figure it out. So if you guys ever want to come and see some games live beforehand, make sure to come over to the Twitch. Link is in the description. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy this insanely weird and mysterious game. and Let's hop right in. Okay, we got quite a menu here to start off the game. We got two options. We either play or we quit. I'm going to choose play. Day one. Okay, that looks like a bird. Maybe. Oh, there's a car. Tear Factory. All right. I like this art style. So no description whatsoever. I have no idea what this game's about. Doggo, hello. He looks kind of dead. I'm going to just hope that's the art style and he's just sleeping. It's a very odd picture. First room I walked into, there's a lot of weird stuff going on. Okay, we got the bathroom. Seems pretty normal. Locked door. All right, we got the living room here. Are they dead or fake? That face looks kind of realistic for something that's dead. Oh, wow, look at that. That was a great toss. Honey? I can't interact with them. Maze. Um. Okay, we're in a giant maze now with... I can't shoot at anything. No, I don't think it's I don't think it's the back rooms. I think this is just a maze. Okay, now I have ammo. What was that? is one out of three rats two out of three rats three out of three rats heard the door open so I'm guessing guessing this door over here is open now Now it looks like it's nighttime. You need to feed your family. Is 
day two. The dead rats are gone. Shop. Um, is there anybody even here? Oh, sorry. What is going on? More rats again. One out of three. Oh, and that sound is coming again. grab my last rat and get out of here. Bro, look at how much it destroyed just to try to get to me. Now let me grab some more bullets just in case if we need them on the way out. I'm happy that we are still shooting rats and not people. I totally thought we were about to go on a shooting spree. Hey guys, I got dinner again. Enjoy. There's definitely going to be something dark in this room. No doubt. Day three. What if the characters are act? What if the rats are actually people? That could be possible. Or maybe the big rat photos are actually people like or the are those rats or squirrels? Those photos. Everything is the same again. Where will we go today? It looked like a squirrel, right? Gallery. Now, why on earth are there rats at a gallery? Nah, this snipe is crazy. Come on. What's this one? Okay, that one's too bright to even look at. Okay, that's moving and that's definitely a rat. Let's take a look at these paintings over here. I'm gonna start to try to head back towards the main door. But we were definitely a family of four plus a dog. You have one new message. Hi, it's me again. I heard what happened. And I'm really sorry for your loss. Everyone from church sends their deepest condolences. I just wish you would have told us. I mean... That's why you haven't sent the money yet. But of course it's up to you if you still want to remain a member of our church or not. Just consider what they would have wanted. End of message. Day four. You have zero new messages. Motel. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way they're actually rats, dude. I 
All right, well, there's the exit door down there. I just picked up a key. Could it be the key to the room in our house? It looks like it look it I only saw it for like a brief second, but it looked like it was a house key. And it doesn't look like I can open any of these doors unless I can open the bathroom in the hotel room up there, which I doubt. But, oh. Can't go up those stairs. Can't go back up the stairs, so it's definitely not intended for upstairs. Alright, let's see. You have zero new messages. Now I'm definitely confused. Day five. All right, now I'm gonna in start to inspect um, each level a little, a little more. Cause was there stuff to collect in the other levels too that I just didn't see? This can't go on for much longer, there's no way. No title. Oh my god, I'm driving. Oh, a little off the road there. I think I was supposed to hit that. Oh, no, that was on purpose. No, we got to run that back. There's something with that key. I, I just don't see why they would leave a locked door. No, no, no. Something, something's got to be up with this room, like, as you progress through. <gasps> Did you see that? I didn't see that the first time. The car on the bottom of the screen, yeah. It crashes with another car right before the title screen. I actually didn't notice that. So we were probably in a car accident with our family and we were the only survivor. If these are real or not, or just in our imagination, I'm not sure. Okay, so someone on the community page wrote, I found two hidden keys in the shop level and the motel. Anyone else find any other keys? There's more to it. 
There's something deeper going on here. I think there's a key on every level. And if you get all the keys and then unlock the room on the last day, I think something would happen. There's definitely a deeper layer to it, because why would that key thing makes no sense? Ah, uh, check the phone every time you're right. One new message. Hi, it's me. I noticed you haven't seen... You haven't sent in this month's donation to the church. I thought I'd remind you just in case you forgot. You know how it is. Anyways, hope to hear from you soon. And say hello to the others for me. God bless. You couldn't have made that call worse, could you? Someone said they did find a key in the shop. My first guess is behind the counter somewhere. That does look like the same key for the room, too. Now, this one seems like it would be easy to find a key in. Check each painting properly. I'm spamming E on all of them when, I, when I'm when i looking at them. What? Wait, 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 wait. Is it only that one? You're so right. The shovel in the backyard. That's why the key leads to the backyard. Wait, that's actually crazy. That's actually crazy. We might be the first people to like figure this out. He buried them. It's the good ending. He doesn't get into a car accident. And die. But it seems like it's basically a good ending. Oh, five stages agree, five days. And then the ending depends on if you actually, if he actually finished going through the grief or not. And it seems like in that ending, maybe he comes to accept it. So I'm guessing, I think that's it. I don't think there's anything more to that. Okay, so that may have been confusing for you, so I'm gonna try to explain everything that happened, basically. At the start of the game, what I failed to notice was that there's a car driving across the screen, yes, but it actually crashes right before the title screen pops up. And I think that's basically just showing us the actual premise of what's going on here. Our family died in a car accident and we're the only survivor. The father's the only survivor. The confusing part is if the bodies in the house are actually our dead family or if we're just imagining them there. But there are two main endings to the game. One where it seems like we can't overcome the grief that we are going through and we end up in a car accident and dying ourselves. And then there's another ending where it seems like we come to accept what has happened and we decide to try to move on by burying the bodies that are in our house and we bury them in the backyard. Now, as far as the rat part goes, I'm very confused about that because we do hunt rats in every level and in very weird locations too. Going to the store kind of makes sense. You know, you go to the store randomly, but why would we be at a motel at one point? And why would we be at a gallery? Those parts don't make sense to me. At first, when I saw how dark the game was going, I definitely thought the rats were people and maybe our character just wasn't imagining them as people. But I don't think the game is that dark. 
I mean, I could be wrong. My chat brought up that each day might be the five stages of grief. And that's why I think on day five, you make the decision whether you overcome the trauma or you just end up drowning in it, basically. And it also makes sense because the church calls us and on day four, they basically say, you know, if you still want to be a part of the church, it's up to you. But think of what they would have wanted. And that's why on day five, you do make the decision whether you, I guess, bury them or don't. So yeah, this game is way deeper than I even thought it was going to be. I just thought it was going to be a creepy, vibey game. I didn't think it was going to have a story this deep. But let me know all your thoughts and theories and stuff in the comments down below. Did you think I missed anything? Let me know. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And also don't forget to drop a like on the video. Dropping likes on the videos actually helps spread it out to more new viewers so that we get more people on the channel. So it's much appreciated. And all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.